they kind of want to instill some fear in people with this uh, as well uh, for, for, for the networking groups. Because, uh, like I said before, the whole policy was under revision during during this time as well. And there was a whole, uh, what do you call it? There was a whole movement to try and, uh, not rebel, like revolt, you know, trying to uh, protest against this whole revision. Because I think at one point they were saying that there would have been, there would have been a hired uh, person, uh, administrator, who would actually... Um, who would actually be paid to just browse through the uh, internet and stuff and look for like Ryerson related content that might be, you know, uh, damaging to their name. But, I mean, by doing all this, you know, their name kind of got damaged through this as well. What do you think about that, about them having a full-time person looking through uh, monitoring Ryerson students? Or I think that's absurd. I, you know, I, I wouldn't mind getting paid for that, just going through the internet as well. But I mean, I don't think I don't, I don't think they need to go through that to, to that level just to just to monitor these things. I don't think they. I personally don't even think that they uh, that they. Sh I don't want to say that they should be monitoring, but I don't think they should be intentionally going out to find something to to bust people on. But you know, if if it's something like because in the past there's been like things like racial racially motivated things on like Facebook regarding Ryerson. Like, cause I remember there was this whole uh, this whole story as well about like, uh, like white minority students or something that go to Ryerson or something. And I know like that got big too. But like Ryerson people didn't actually go out and look for that. It just kind of sparked up too, cause you know when the student council found out about that, like to, to actually get someone to look for it or free, even as a teacher to go and intentionally look out to, uh, to find something just to. Just to bust students, to give them a hard time. That that's wrong. What gives them the right to do to police the uh, the online stuff, and not like throughout, not online. What gives them the right to police online stuff and not go through a library and you know, kind of like sneak up maybe on people, try to hear with the and eavesdrop basically. Because in, in that's kind of like what they were doing, you know, eavesdropping. That that's kind of basically what lurking is equivalent to now, which I just realized. Um, if they're if that that that's what I was thinking through the whole thing, like you know, stay um, be consistent with uh, with what you're doing. Don't uh, don't just pick and choose the, the kind of things that you're gonna that you're gonna bust people for. And, you know, if you're gonna get me something as absurd as uh, being part of a study group, and being admin of that, why don't you go to someone's like? I know the exam the analogy sucks. Why don't you go? Why don't you go to someone's house or like or whoever find whoever's orchestrating a study group for for these kinds of questions as well? You know, 